Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in Chiang Mai and we are visiting Chang Chil Elephant Sanctuary today. We've been dropped off about a five minute walk to the to the actual park. We're gonna fall over again. We fall yeah, over in every video. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it took about an hour and a half to get here. Yeah, so, it's like one of the closest places, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, yeah, nice. it's one of the perks of Chang Chil, uh, being much, much closer to Chiang Mai. Uh, so it's only an hour and a half to get here and then a five minute walk. So let's go check it out. Do not fall. Well, actually. Oh, God. Actually, it's quite solid. Chang <laughs> huh. is also on the World Animal Protection website, so they're concentrating 100% on the purely elephants. ethical <laughs> yeah. practices and, yeah, concentrating on the elephants more than anything else. Yeah. Uh, they, how many elephants do they have here? We're seeing four seeing today. Four. four females. Females only here because they're trying to control the population, like the um, population of elephants. There were any surprises. Um, but we're going to go into the jungle, yeah. as always. <laughs> we, it's about an hour and a half drive from the city, which is a bit quite nice because it's obviously the closest um, that we've been to so far. No massive four hour journey. Um, yeah, and I think then, that's a big perk of here. Yeah. At the end of this one, we'll see if we recommend it. But one of the big perks already is only a one and a half hour drive, yeah. which is great. Yeah. So we've only been walking about five minutes and we've already found our first elephant. Yeah, so short drive and short walks. Yeah. Chang is the first elephant sanctuary we've come to where I think we'd be comfortable saying you only need one day here. Yes, yeah, because it's only an hour and a half from the city, so you don't need to maximise your time as much as the other ones in this series. Check out those other videos if you haven't already. Absolutely. But that doesn't mean that they don't do longer days. So they also have two days, overnight stays, three, four, up to a week. They also said they're pretty flexible, mm -hmm. so if you look online and one of the programmes don't really suit you, I think you can just get in touch with them, see if you can uh, you can, they're quite flexible with time, basically. Yeah, so if you're here for like a short holiday, like a week, this would be a good place to, to go yeah. because you don't have to do We've the shorter day. Oh, what? It's on a cliff. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a bit further than that, but it's a couple of minutes in the last one. So we just found out that in Thailand, when the elephants die, it's common to bury them. Um, I thought they would have cremated them, but they just dig a massive, massive hole. And there's a ceremony, the monks come, there's like their things and stuff. Because they are seen as such like important animals here. So it's quite a nice, really, way to say goodbye.
So if you've been watching the series, and you should, <laughs> then you'll already know about the difference between renting and owning the elephants. So if you haven't, we'll go through it quickly. The, you can, these places can, they can own the elephants, so they don't have to actually buy them. And they're then, crazy expensive though. They're crazy expensive and, and, and that's good because then they can guarantee the elephant stays with them for the rest of their life. Yeah. But it also puts a lot of money back into the elephant industry. So if someone, if, we, if they buy the elephant from an owner, they might just then replace that elephant and then train that and ride that one. Exactly. So, but sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does end because the family may not reinvest. So it's yeah. not like really, it's not bad. So Because so a lot train of these till, owners want the best of their elephants in the end yeah. of the day and they, if they can get, you know, a big sum of money for it, then that's the yeah. end of the cycle. And then, but, so Chang Chil has, has four, like we said, and it, two of them they own, but then two of them they rent, which is the other side of the coin, where uh, if, you, if you, basically a family that owns an elephant, they want to get, they want to make money off it. It was an investment originally, so they want to make money off of it. So they give it to a place like this, and Chang Chil essentially just looks after the elephant and- Keeps it healthy, keeps it lets safe. Them ha keeps it happy, keeps mm. it doing everything that it wants to do, eth like completely ethically. But because they're renting it, they get money off people like us coming here. And then the family that owns the elephant can continue making an income and put food on the table. And because it's not a lump, lump sum, probably not reinvest in the elephant uh, industry. So the only problem with that, because it sounds perfect, right? The only problem with that is that the, oh, the original owners could at any time pull that elephant out and put it back into the aggressive offer. tourism industry. So, they, you know, it's, it's, but here, as I said, they've, they've got some they own, they've got some they rent. So it's quite a nice little balance, balance really. So we ended up spending a couple of hours with the, with the elephants, uh, four up there. We saw all four, which mm. is quite nice. Uh, they were all quite close together, which is also pretty lucky. Um, and it was, it was pretty chill. Like we were given quite a lot of time. Thank you. <laughs> pardon the pardon, sorry, well, I didn't even mean it. Um, we were given quite a lot, a lot of time with the elephants. We, and not as in we weren't being moved around a lot. We were taken up there, given time to to, to look, observe, get to know them, watch, like their stories them. and things. And then the guides were just there to ask if we had any questions. <coughs> so I like that sort of approach. That's been a similar approach to the two elephant sanctuaries we've been to so far as well, where it's less you're not being shuffled along. You know, you're not being pushed along. You're not being pushed to the next place. You, you just get time just to experience. The beauty the of where you actually are as well. Yeah, and the land as well. Like, look, just to our right, look where we are. Like, this is this is this is the sort of thing you can expect. So, just looking around and just observing these amazing creatures, really. That's kind of the highlight, isn't it? Yeah. This is not the end of the day, though. Cool, going downhill, recording every time someone falls over. Usually me. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is not the end. Uh, we spent a couple of hours, and as I said, and now we are off to make some food and not just make some food for the elephants, feed ourselves too. <laughs> so we're gonna learn how to make some vitamin balls and I don't know really, we, we, we don't really know how you make elephant food, but <laughs> I think that's the, uh, that's the, point. the beauty of what we're about to do. <laughs> so we're taking these mangoes and stocking up the snack bar for the elephants. <laughs> now we're going to take off our shoes and make the vitamin balls, yeah? Okay, so, and this one, ah, for you guys to help. All right, come closer, come closer. Okay, we have to mash this one first. Hmm. Can we just... I never heard this word before. Separating the sticks, uh, I think, because you can't uh, uh, stick uh, it in. Uh, so we didn't make it like a, a mush, basically, the elephant uh, ball. Yeah. So this is for, I think, to give them fibre. Mm. Where did the elephants get the salt from naturally? Uh, in Thai, we call dim but not sure in... Since I came to Thailand, like, they're just... They're big. Everywhere. Big My hands are going to be so sticky. In Thai, we call... Ah. Skills. Boy. I want yeah. Feet. Make it stable. <laughs> So just literally run down the hill to eat the mangoes. I think they found all the mangoes that I dropped earlier. Um, and they, yeah, they're just sharing. This one up here has had the most, but 
to this very quick. Okay, easy. Yeah, like this. Mm. Skills. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's grim. It just. Yeah, ah. it's super grim. It's the same. Um, you guys can try to same. make um, four bowl or three bowl per each. Try. Yeah. Maybe like three. Three. Bigger? Yeah. For each of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's actually quite nice. It's like squishy, isn't it? It's like therapeutic. Now I'm going to wash my hands in the very clean river. <laughs> Gross. Last time we were in a river with elephants, they just pooed in the whole water. So it's just grass, I guess. Changchou is the first place that we've actually made food for the elephants. And that's only on the one day tour as well. So it's pretty good. You get a lot. Even though you're only here for one day, you still get a lot of activities, you've got a lot of time with the elephants, and then now we're just sat here chilling with them, and they're so close and happy. And that's Chang Chil. What did you think? Yeah, really, really good. Obviously super ethical. We didn't go near the elephants, but we still had a great time. We were just saying earlier how it, we don't have to ride the elephants, touch the elephants, bathe the elephants to enjoy them. Like, they're yeah. so amazing to look at. You know, we're still quite close as well. We've got um, a couple of hours with them, probably two and a half, three yeah, hours with yeah, them yeah, after yeah. they came down for the feeding. Obviously, yeah. we didn't feed them, as you saw, but when they, they came down for another mm. half an hour, 45 minutes, we were with them for two hours. So you get a lot of the time you're here, you're next to the Evans, you're near the elephants, and you're seeing them in their natural yeah, habitat. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fantastic. Really and yeah. obviously, we said at the beginning of the video, this is so much closer than the other two. The other two's programs are completely different. They're based around people for going, going for multiple days, so it can be really immersive. But here, it's based around coming, because it's only one and a half hours away, it's based around the one day trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if you've only got a couple of days perfect. in Chiang Mai, it's absolutely perfect. Yeah. Like, you can just hop on a, hop on a minibus, come here, and they pick do, you every, up well. do everything you need to do, go back, and it's all easily doable in a day. In a day, yeah, definitely. So if you are in Chiang Mai just for a short amount of time, if you've only got a few days but you really want to see elephants, Chiang Chiu is definitely a really good option. So definitely check them out. And also, check out the other videos like we were saying before. We've done a whole series of the best and most ethical elephant sanctuaries in Chiang Mai. Mm -hmm. So check that out. We'll put a link in. I don't know which, which slide does it go. There's a link to the uh, playlist. <laughs> and in a couple of days, we're going to Elephant Nature Park, the last one on our list, one that you've probably heard of. So remember to like and subscribe. Subscribe for that video coming soon. Now, yeah. A couple of days.